No, I tried to avoid that and be very, very delicate. It was such a hole he was in. It took over three minutes thinking time, and in the end, could not find the path through for that red that I mentioned. Skip the beat as that blue <coughs> ran dangerously towards that gunk of the middle pocket. Seven. That was well controlled. Back in prime position now. I'm just thinking, Ken, if Michael goes on to take this frame. I think Ding will be glad that they're being 13. taken off here and having to come back later because he's not in the right frame of mind at the moment. 14. Whereas his young opponent is still fully focused. Oh, Michael, what have you done? Michael was the That's 14. the first sign of tension that's crept in to Michael's game. He's been so good up until now. One. What a let off. Still a bit of work to do, though. Fourteen points ahead. Ding Jung Wee. Three reds, three pinks, make it 35, that red close to the left-hand side cushion. So that means he's going to need that red to win this frame. 8 He'll have to play for the one that's nearest the pocket, and it's a tricky one, but when he does take that on, he'll free the pocket for the one that's next to the black. So, key shot here, yep. having the cue ball clean because of the ways, not because of what happened on that shot, because of the ways playing the next Fourteen. shot. It's the type of shot you may get a heavy contact on. But he'll uh, automatically come out on the pink, and if he goes a little bit too far, he'll be on the blue. Fifteen. Played it with a terrific amount of pace. You'd have thought he would have played it <laughs> easier than that. Now he's got to get up onto that red from a bog colour. Probably, let's have a look. The green will get him there. But he needs to get over around the black spot area. He'd be OK. If he could pick the white up and place it on the black spot, he would be OK. Strange choice to play up for one of the ball colours there. Yeah, nice he wasn't that confident, was he, in that pot? He hit it that hard that obviously in the back of his mind, if he misses it, it's going to run away from the pocket. Here's another difficult shot, this one. He's a missable. Again, played it the same way. 20. Now then, he's 27 points in front, a colour safe would be the order of the day here. He's on the yellow, but there's no value in potting it. I'd be pushing a colour safe and playing a good safety here. Would you push the colour safe or, or just try and drop up behind the yellow? Well, if he drops up behind the yellow and gets the snooker and Michael escapes from it, the balls are still all on. He's going in behind the yellow, so that's his choice.
It's a good choice as long as Michael doesn't escape and get it safe here. 27, so he can afford one miss on this red. He doesn't want to miss it. I'm just wondering, is he going the right way, Dennis? Would it not be ball cushion forced up and down? It's very close to the black. Well, that has made such a vast difference because he has to hit the red now. The fact that he's given a seven-point penalty there, there's 34 the difference. So if he doesn't hit it this time, he needs a snooker. So in the end, Ding's choice of running in behind the yellow, proven to be the correct one after that shot that Michael's just played. I think the black is, is tighter to the cushion. Yeah, it's got to go down. Oh, it's probably a little bit, a little bit tighter to the cushion. It's about right now. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think if he if he went up to the ball cushion first, up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the shot you were saying, Ken. He's going to play it with side and oh. Wow. Why hit it that hard? Now it's Michael's turn to get a little frustrated. Well, he's 28 behind, he needs a snooker, so we can't call a miss. Yeah. Well, he's putting it back, but he can't. It, it, can't call a miss because uh, he needs a snooker. So, Ding will possibly play the cross double here. Red going towards the bottom right hand corner pocket with a chance of possibly going in and of course cue ball back to Balk. Watch the red. Well, 38 the difference. And Ding's got a snooker. So barring snookers, Ding's got his nose in front again. It was a clever little shot Michael played there. Brought the black into play and that will certainly help his cause. Cushion first and a chance of a snooker here. He didn't play to hit the red going up. He wanted to come off the cushion and send it back up the table with the possibility of getting a snooker. Michael is carrying on, but uh, he's 39 behind with 27 on the table. But they're going to have to come back this evening. It'll be on the first available table, depending on how the matches go.
like it was League 2. At the moment, Michael needs three, four point snookers just to tie. It's been a tough afternoon for the world number two. And it's been a pretty good afternoon. But that will make him feel better. Seven. Pretty good afternoon for young Michael Wosley. Well, I'm not Seven quite sure. I'm not quite guys. sure the guy is now, actually, Dennis, yeah. which is quite unusual. The boys have just yeah, been told here, yeah, weren't the aware of it, it's so cold. they'll be very no, it's, disappointed. It's finish, it will finish before the first table will be finished tonight. It will continue tonight. Finish now, yeah. Terry no, no, Camilleri no, no, no. just I'm explaining. Not, I suppose no, no, uh, it's, it's his first time here. No, no, Ding didn't even know. There's no way they can start yeah, another frame. So no, no, no. It's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> All sorted. We'll see them later on. For what I'm sure Ken is going to be an exciting finish. Yeah, absolutely. And Ding will be mighty relieved to have just that one frame lead. But they've got to hang around now until the first table becomes available tonight. So, from Dennis and myself, thanks for joining us. And commentary will resume in this evening's session, 7 o'clock. We'll see you then. Bye bye.